The UN Nuclear Watchdog Agency says Tehran is now agreeing to allow inspectors inside two sites where Iran is suspected of having stored or used undeclared nuclear material in the lead up to the JCPOA nuclear deal. The International Atomic Energy Agency says that Iran is voluntarily providing inspectors now with access. Iran for months, though, strongly resisted pressure to allow inspectors inside. One of these facilities is a site specifically mentioned by Netanyahu last year as being a secret nuclear research facility. In a speech last September, Netanyahu gave a speech, provided photo evidence of the locations, and said Iran tried to dismantle the site and destroy any evidence that it had been used to develop nuclear weapons. With me now is Dr. Ephraim Esculai, who is with the Institute for National Security Studies. Uh, doctor, thanks for being with me. I guess the big question is why now? Iran, for months, all year, resisted uh, UN pressure to get inside these locations. Now they're agreeing. Why? Well, the first answer that comes to my mind is that they finished sanitizing the sites, and they think that the sites will uh, disclose nothing if uh, visited. Uh, so they can uh, make a goodwill gesture, if you want, uh, towards the IEA, which uh, didn't happen for many, many months. And uh, now everyone is happy about it. Sir. I'm not sure that the uh, inspection will produce anything of interest there. Uh, sir, I want to note, if you heard uh, just a minute ago, uh, the vice presidential candidate for the Democratic Party, uh, Kamala Harris, uh, she supported, even again last night, the Iran nuclear deal, uh, said Trump made a bad mistake by pulling away from it. Joe Biden has announced that if Iran comes to terms, comes back to the table, they'd be welcomed back into the nuclear deal. Do you think it's connected, that Iran now is allowing access inside, that Biden is willing to let Iran back in the deal? Do you think there may be a connection there? Uh, yes, well, buying the goodwill of the United States is a very important thing. Uh, although I think that uh, even with the speeches that have been made, I'm not sure that the United States will go directly back into the uh, deal, the JCPOA, without any preconditions. I don't think so, because the, the deal would then also have to remove all sanctions uh, that were imposed on Iran. I don't think that it will be as simple as that. Hmm. I want to note, again, Netanyahu mentioned one of these two sites in his speech last year. Hang on, uh, doctor, we're going to listen to a soundbite from Prime Minister Netanyahu about one of these locations. Today we reveal that uh, yet another secret nuclear site was exposed in the archives that we brought from uh, Tehran. In this site, Iran conducted experiments to develop nuclear weapons. I call on the international community to join President Trump's sanctions to exert more pressure on Iran. The only way to stop Iran's march to the bomb and its aggression in the region is pressure, pressure, and more pressure. Sir, is it possible that Iran could totally have scrubbed these sites uh, from any nuclear or radioactive material or traces? Well, they did try to do that in previous site, uh, sites visited. The, the most notable one is Pachin, where they really sanitized the, the place. And then the IA came, and it was a very, very peculiar uh, inspection and taking samples. And uh, lo and behold, something was found there. And when the IA came back and said that they want explanations and they want to revisit it, they, they revisit the site, nothing was really done. Hmm. So the Iranians, I think, think that they can totally sanitize. Possibly it is true, but possibly something can be found there. All right. So I don't think that anyone can be absolutely sure about it.